What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp plugin review for you. So today we're going to talk about a tool that dramatically improves the scale tool options that you have in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, Fredo Scale. Plugin developer, Fredo 6. How much does it cost? It's free. Please remember to donate to your developer. There's a link to donate to Fredo 6 in the download link in Sketchication. Where do you get it? It's located in the Sketchication warehouse. I'll also link to it in the notes below. Please note, if you try to install this extension, you'll also have to install libfredo. That's Fredo's extension support library for this extension to work. It's also free and available from Sketchication. This extension is basically an upgrade of the scale tools in SketchUp. Some of them are new ways to scale objects, while others are simply a slight upgrade of the SketchUp scale tool that'll make your life a lot easier. For example, the scale option appears to be very similar to the scale tool in SketchUp. It gives you a bounding box around your geometry like this, and you can click and drag and scale different objects. However, this tool is an improvement in the fact that not only will it work when your object is along the red, green, and blue axes like this, it'll also orient, orient your scaling box to a face. So for example, if I take this object and I rotate it, and I come in here with SketchUp Scale Tool, you can see that the, the scale points don't really match the corners and the faces of your object, so you can only kind of scale it this way. However, with Fredo Scale, you can come in here, activate your tool, and click on a face, and it'll actually match this to your object. In addition, Fredo Scale has the ability to scale not only by decimal percentage, like this, you can also scale by dimension. So for example, if I come in here, activate Fredo Scale, and then select one of these objects, if I tap the Tab key, I can enter a new dimension for the distance between this end and this end. This is a function that previously you'd have to go in and use something like the tape measure tool in order to rescale your object. Taper allows you to scale one edge or face of your scaling box. So unlike the SketchUp tool where you or the SketchUp scale tool where you can only come in here and scale your entire object like this, Taper allows you to come in here and just scale across the top. allowing for a lot more complex scaling options. Planar Shear allows you to move a single face of your scaling box. So for this rectangle, I could come in and only scale one face, or move one face of this object, allowing you a new option in the way you can deform different objects. Stretch allows you to stretch an object without deforming the geometry. So for example, if you were to come in here and scale this table, with the SketchUp Scale tool, you can see how the legs get deformed. However, with the Stretch option, you can come in here and you can stretch your object about the center, and only the center will stretch, and your table legs will stay the same size. Twist allows you to twist an object without deforming it. So for example, if you were to take this object and try to rotate the top of it using the Rotate tool, SketchUp creates a lot more geometry in here and it kind of deforms everything. However, if you were to come in here with the twist option, you can see how these, all the different lines in here, curve along the face of your object and there's no deformation. Rotate works a lot like the rotate tool in SketchUp does. The nice thing about using Rotate this way is now this creates a bounding box around the geometry that you've selected. So you don't have to come in here and try to inference to the center of an object. You just have a scaling grip in the middle of your object that you can use to rotate things. That's a huge time saver. You can also come in here and rotate off of corners or things like that. So in the past, I've spent a lot of time right clicking on objects and trying to use the fine center or trying to like inference to the center of an object. Being able to just select this and have a scaling box in the middle is huge. You can also use this to scale things up or down. 
along these different objects as well. So this is a huge improvement over the rotate tool just in ease of use. Finally, this is my favorite function in, in Fredo Scale, and I've actually done a couple of videos on it, but Radial Bend allows you to bend an object along an, a radius. So for example, I could come in here, select this group of geometry, set a target point, and then actually bend this object just like this. Then I could come in here, I could use the rotate option like this, create a copy in order to create an arch. You can do this with much more complex shapes as well. You could also probably come in here and use something like the the stretch tool in order to stretch this across the middle. You can see how this stretched just like this. So this extension brings a ton of added functionality, and if you use it properly, it makes modeling and SketchUp significantly easier. There's a little bit of a learning curve. I think there's a little bit of lack of documentation out here about these objects, but once you learn how to use them, they're, they're definitely going to change the way that you work in SketchUp in a very positive way. That's where we're going to wrap up this plugin overview. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this? Is this something you've been using? I'd love to hear some of your ideas for how you'd uh, use this extension. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Um, as always, if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.